morning guys this is Maya welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video we will be learning about bollards so in the previous two videos we about landscape we have seen only the modeling part from this part we will be seeing about the lighting for the landscape to begin with I am choosing the topic of bollards because it is very important so now to define bollard Bollards are short posts that dot the landscape as visual guides and vehicle obstruction. So where are these bollards used? Okay, generally they are used at uh, storefront and building protection for campus security, sidewalk safety, around utilities, then and to protect any landmarks and plantings. So you might have seen uh, these bollards in many areas especially in landscape and parking so in the landscape yeah, we are we going to use the bollards generally so bollards in the landscape will be used near the pathways especially or it can be used near the trees so most of the time we are going for spike lights for trees or what you call as projectors or a tree strap light so I'm not going to use bollards near the trees. I'm going to use it near the pathways. So here in my drawing, these are the pathways. So I'm going to select few bollards and near my pathways. Now the next step what it is, is what are the different types of bollards? Okay, to understand that one, let's go to this uh, Iguzini website. So you can go to Iguzini website products outdoor and here are bollards so here you can see different types of bollards so we will see one by one what it is so this is a green fixture they have named it as green okay and if you see the light output it will be something like this here they have used it to highlight the green wall uh, wherein uh, it is acting as a bollard and also uh, like a projector light for your planters. So this is a one kind of bollard. Next one, this, this particular product is available in other uh, brands too. So in this type of bollards, you can see the light source is here. So this is like a pole and the light source is here. So light will be falling here and you will be having a light spread on the ground like this so it is only on one way you can uh, you know in front of buildings you can use this kind of bollards okay the next type is most of the times these kind of bollards they have used in front of uh, buildings or you can use it near the parking areas also and this is another kind of bollard okay wherein again this looks like a pole light source is here so light will be falling down okay this is straight whereas this is bent so light will be falling here this will be directing straight something like this these three look similar but they are different in their uh, outer appearance so we'll select any one thing so this particular one okay it throws the light or you have the light output in all 360 degree so you can see here this is a bollard so the light spread is in 360 degree so you can cover even the pathway even as well as your lawn that is a greenery or any small plants or shrubs if you have so this kind of bollard will light both the sides so you don't need any other fixture to light the planters so this will be having different sizes also okay from 1 feet to any size is customable in few of the product range so you can select the heights accordingly but uh, this is a very good product since it has a 360 degree light spread suppose you don't want the 360 degree light spread you can have the similar one and if i select this one here the first thing this is 360 degree and this is the light spread now this is only 180 degree though the bollard looks round but it is throwing light 
or you have the light spread only for this area that is a 180 degree so this this one is really good when you have when you don't want to light this side of the part like say if you have some wall here and you have a pathway here then you can only put this one which will be sufficient let's check if we have any reference image here no we don't have the reference image but this is how the light output for this kind of fixture is okay okay done and a small note here i'm not promoting the Iguzini products uh, it is only for the youtube uh, channel only for the understanding purpose right so for our projects let's go and select some bullards so i want something in 360 degree because uh, i have my pathway and my lawn landscape area so we will select this one which, is, which has a 360 degree light output like this so it is very easy to get the is files from igizini website all you need to do is select the proper product so here you have different heights okay height is all dependent on you and what project you're working okay like i mentioned uh, bullard's height will be available from one feet to any size you require some even get the customized design for the heights okay so for now let's select the smaller one this one and uh, what age let me select i don't want it to be too bright so i will select only five watts okay yes so here on the right hand side you can see photometric data just click on this one ldt is and dialogs drag and drop is there so i will select this one oh i got the zipped files i will just copy this on the desktop come back to your dialogs file light import luminaire file select any one of this one okay it is the preview of the light fixture is uh, visible so now i want my light to be placed here since this is my pathway and this is the lawn area now next very important thing is how much should be the distance from bollard to bollard so generally if you are using in any uh, in front of uh, any building or near the parking areas it's recommended to follow the distance of three feet to five feet between uh, two bollards and if it is landscape you can increase the distance because in the landscape you have light coming from the other sources as well so for my project and i, I don't want to be three feet or five feet because it will be very near for me so i will consider something like eight feet or something and uh, i will draw line arrangement i will then select my first point and second point so here distance between my fixture to fixture from bollard to bollard is 2.9 meters i will increase it quantity that is i will make it eight numbers so now the distance is two meters i think for now for calculation purpose this will be enough this will be good enough you can change the positioning like this also done go to the side views and make sure you have placed it properly so my bullards have been placed so when you are doing the AutoCAD drawing, okay, first do it in AutoCAD drawing and if you are taking 8 feet, make sure the distance uh, of the bullard to bullard is 8 feet. Then import the CAD file in the dialogs and you can place it accordingly. Since here I have not marked the position in the AutoCAD file, I am directly doing the line arrangement. Similarly, I will do line arrangement here, draw line arrangement first point and this will be my second point here i will decrease the quantity to, to six numbers you can see here for this lights is uh, distance is 2.5 meters so i want this also to be nearly 2.5 meters so it is 2.6 okay that will be fine 
next you can even adjust uh, the positioning of your bollards what you need to do is simply just zoom in okay and when you click on this this turns uh, orange when you go near so when it is turning orange so just drag it so that i want this bollard to be in center of these two bollards that's why i'm moving it follow the same for everything Similarly, we are going to draw it in this path and on this path too. I have finished placing the luminaires, the bollards. Now we'll just run the calculation and see the results. Calculation and run impact project. Done. Our calculation is completed and you can see the nice light output from the bullards we can adjust the little brightness and also the color temperature so the lux is between 15 to 30 uh, which is really nice for the pathways since uh, i will be having lights on the plants and the trees also that will be really balanced so this is it for the bullards and uh, Let's make a quick render, Se select the view and make a quick render. Okay, go to export, save new view, ray tracer, increase the resolution and start ray tracing it. And this is the rendered image. 
so it looks so nice the bollard so this kind of bollards you know the, it is even uh, giving light to the pathway also on the lawn area so this is it guys the, in this video and if you found this video helpful please like this video subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more and dialogues with me